whereas it is good to condo with families of uh, deceased persons, it is always uh, good and uh, important that uh, we also try not to distort history. History is important so that our children will not uh, repeat the mistakes that uh, their parents and others made. Whereas many will glorify Charles Jonjo as a hand-working attorney general and a reformist. I don't want to be hypocritical. And I state this. Charles Jojo did a lot of damage to this country when he was serving as Attorney General. One which is important, Charles Jojo cannot be described as a reformist because he destroyed institutions. Charles Jojo was against Africanization in every aspect. Particularly, he oppressed African lawyers, the black bar, frustrated African lawyers and glorified Wazungus. The judiciary was the last to be Africanized. Uh, Charles Jojo was opposed to everything African. That is why he himself, although not acceptable, he was, uh, he was a Briton according, he is only the blood that he regretted. In effect, at one time, he said he regrets why he was born a Kikuyu. So this is a man that I feel that there is a lot of hypocrisy when we say, oh, he was hard working, he prayed this. To, to be able to associate, to, to associate himself with those. Charles Jojo used his office, right, to settle uh, scores with many victims, many forthright people, and particularly those who are nationalists. Look, for example, Waruru Kanja, was put in prison just because he had a few dollars in exchange control. He offended uh, exchange control regulations then, but it was not justifiable for him to be uh, put in prison. Achuru Kapila, Achuru Kapila, the one who defended Jomo Kenyatta, again, with a few dollars from Chicheles, he was put in just because of a few, a few dollars, maybe 100 or 100, uh, 200 dollars. Then Charles Jonjo cannot exonerate himself from the murder of Tom Boyer. Kenyans need to be told who the big man, the big man described by or mentioned by the convicted Njenga in the uh, Tom Boyer murder. Many people think that the big man is uh, Jomo Kenyatta. I am sorry, it is not Jomo Kenyatta. Charles Jojo must be the man mentioned. The way that uh, trial was handled, it was mishandled. It was orchestrated. It was uh, just um, uh, a play that was uh, choreographed to fit in uh, uh, Jenga. Because after all, Kenyatta was not going to succeed himself. Who had the technology to tap lad line, Tomboya's lad line from treasury to Chinese uh, pharmacy? It must have been somebody who was in power and who was able. We didn't have the technology we have today. I wish people could remember that uh, it is Charles Jojo and Bruce Mackenzie who destroyed who fractured important institution was an example in the world the east african community comprising then of kenya uganda tanzania and brought it down in 1976 he destroyed the economy of east africa we were only comparable to european economic community we are trying to build but we are far uh, below the status of what East Africa community was. Even services like uh, telecommunications, railways, 
all those who are under the wing, the auspices of the East African community, we destroyed this. This is Charles Giorgio who did it. So there are many, many examples that I can give. The constitutional reform, he oppressed the constitutional reform. Of, mo of most important, he said in parliament that he cannot shake the hand of laws because laws allegedly, according to him, every law was stricken with the corolla then. So there are many, many uh, examples that I can give of him manipulating the Public Order Act. As a lawyer, he should have been forthright in opposing Public Order Act. He is the one who brought this. Whereas the whole world is against uh, termination of life through hanging, another means, death penalty. He, in effect, again is Kenyatta's uh, concern that uh, robbery should not be criminalized to the extent of uh, making it a capital offense. He did make it a, a capital offense. Uh, Charles George will set an example that uh, with all the wealth, even at the end, the CMC saga did not come to the limelight, right? Because he was banished from uh, holding any directorship in any public office because uh, they, they took money to the IRAs, New Jersey and elsewhere from CMC over, over invoicing. And this is one of the reasons why, in many years at Kenyatta, the Department of Defense was never audited. The audit was never brought to public eye because there is a common denominator, right? Him, Kereini, Moy, every institution that any one of them had director, there is a common denominator. If you go to CMC, you find Kereini, you find Jojo, you find Moy. Rukule and others. Then if you go to Pushkovic airline, which was again involved in the attempted coup of Shishires, directly involved, they are the shareholders with Mackenzie, Bruce Mackenzie. God gave him that long life to give him opportunity to repent and confess the, some of these uh, sins that he committed. So I, I mourn him as any, any other person. Would, uh, but uh, death is uh, only God who has the right to terminate life.